Hey Scorpio, this is Soul. And Scorpio, this is going to be your general love forecast for the uh, month of February 2017. Uh, the messages will also be for uh, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising. Before I begin your messages, Scorpio, I want to wish you all a very happy Valentine's. Okay, so there's a mixture of energy here, and I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on with my Scorps. Uh, because this energy for the month of February is almost like fear base. Um, something that I'm picking up related to, and keep in mind, this is a general reading. I'm only focusing on love and relationships. I'm not talking about any other areas or aspects of your life. And, and again, look at your moon and your rising signs. There may be some additional uh, messages in there for you as well to support your current reading. Okay, your sun sign reading. But I'm getting that there is some sort of fear going in. It could be occurring now and going in the month of February related to relationships. The overall energy, you have the major arcana, um, major life event, the strength card, and it's in the uh, reverse. Normally, when this card shows up and it's in the upright, it's all about having the strength, being empowered, fearless, you know, courage. But there's something that's lacking here in the reverse. It's totally, you know, totally the opposite. It's something going on. Uh, it's fear based. Now, it may be just, you know, a mental thing is not actually a physical thing. It could be just your own, uh, you know, encapsulated fears when it comes to relationship. There could be some sort of uh, power struggles going on with uh, fire sign, Leo in particular. Uh, but it could be Sagittarius or uh, Aries, male or female. And there's some sort of fear. I don't know if it's I'm picking up that there's uh, you're in a current relationship and you're fearful of the relationship in itself. Or you don't feel empowered by um, empowered, I mean, by, you know, whatever is going on i'm just picking up speaking up for yourself or you know this energy of uh if it is directly related to fire signs then they're overpowering your energy and it's almost draining uh but there's some sort of fear-based stuff going on and then for those who aren't in existing relationships it's losing courage and having fear possibly trying to put yourself out there uh, trusting enough to enter into another relationship and that might be all you know part of the mental stuff as well okay so I don't know there's some sort of fear based stuff going on and the reason why I say that to secure my position and validation is that the eight of swords now is crossing that strength card and this is all about being fearful afraid feeling like you're trapped it could be that you know some of you are in you know involved in a relationship and you feel trapped within that relationship whether it's with an air sign gemini libra aquarius male or female or if you're fear, feeling you know trapped or fearful related to fire sign energies but something's going on and it's fear based it could be that we're, you know, going into the month of February. And I just want to throw this out here just to add to uh, the messages that are coming through. The fact that Valentine's is always, uh, you know, the month of Valentine's, February is always super hyped. It could be that, you know, some of you who aren't attached are having this energy or experiencing this energy because of that, that you're not with someone. Uh, but I'm picking up primarily that it may be related to um, fear of putting yourself back out there due to past relationships or, you know, being hurt uh, before. So that's interesting. So but let me continue. See if I can figure this out here for you, Scorp. Five of Cups now is in the reverse, which is always good to get. Uh, this is um, your energy and that energy of Cancer, Scorpio. I mean, yeah, Cancer, 
Pisces, Scorpio, male or female. In the reverse is overcoming an emotional disappointment or let down when it comes to a relationship. Now, it could be that I'm reading for Scorpios who are involved with uh, other water signs and there was some sort of disappointment uh, coming, you know, from their energy towards you. And then whatever it is, you're overcoming it. Or it could be that it's their energy and they're overcoming some disappointment um, coming from your energy towards them. But all in all, the fives represent a clearing of energy, whether they're in the upright or in the reverse. It's more good in the uh, reverse position because it's like it's that clearing, like the tens. It's a clearing of energy, things to come, but it's not stagnant energy. It will pass. And so I feel that even though we start here and we're moving along, uh, it may be some sort of reduction to, um, re <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is sore, some sort of reduction and releasing the fear here with the strength card in the reverse and the uh, Eight of Swords card in the reverse. This card is also, the Eight of Swords, by the way, is feeling bound and restricted, okay? So there could be some sort of limitations being placed on you. And the limitations could be either the limitations you're putting on yourself or it's the limitations uh, in the current or existing relationship that's making you feel fearful and lacking courage. If you're not in a relationship, then it's your energy of what I had said before, possibly the fact that, you know, February represents love, connections, and wanting to be, you know, uh, engaged with another person. And for some of you, it, it hasn't occurred yet. And you have this sort of reluctance or hesitancy to put your energy back out there because of this Eight of Swords strength card in the reverse, okay? Whenever happens uh i do feel that if i'm talking to those who are already dating or you know connected to someone uh, it could be an ending of a disappointment an emotional letdown getting over that energy then the four of cups now we have some uh, we have some cups here and uh i'd, I'd rather see the cups uh in the you know the upright position so this is you know still part of getting over at least the degree of emotional disappointment or let down is winding down since we go from five to four and it could be that there is the four of cups normally four of cups energy uh, relates to being focused on one particular energy so it may be that you know there's a scorpio or two that i'm reading for that's just focused primarily or had been focused primarily on one person where there were three other energies surrounding them, you know, more than likely not paying attention to them or just turning your back on them. Um, there is a positive side to this four of cups though, because it may be that some of you shake the focus on that one energy and allow yourself to open up to the other possibilities that are surrounding you. So that's the, the positive side, but it's still part of, uh, you know, getting over some sort of disappointment or let down attached to a situation. Now we have the three of cups, which is going out into the future and it's in the upright position. So the three of cups, of course, the threes represent a love triangle. So, you know, some of this energy may be related to that. Um, you know, connected to the strength card, the uh, eight of swords. And, you know, it's always involving celebrations and being the third party in a, a love triangle. So it could be that some of you still are carrying on with that situation. And the upright, it means that it's, if it is, it's making you happy and you're sort of content with that. Um but for the most part, I feel that it could be some of you just celebrating who aren't in a love triangle uh, and it may be attached to the upcoming Valentine's Day in itself. So you could be receiving some sort of uh, three of cups is, is, you know, feeling happy, celebrating with others. Now, normally it's, you know, three people, but it could be, you know, with another person. And. It's your energy again, and it could be that you're celebrating 
with another water sign. It could be any zodiac sign. So I wanted to, you know, get that message and split it up for you in terms of um, all this energy that I'm picking up for you, Scorpio, because it's it's a it's a it's a lot. But the good news is at the tail end of the uh, month, at least. It's not going to be as bad with the will of fortune in the upright position for you. Okay, so it could be a turn of events when it comes to relationships. It could also be that you, you know, finally release the fear or, you know, have built up enough courage to take yourself or put yourself back out there in terms of the dating scene. Uh, so, so many things going on with the will of fortune, but I'm jumping ahead. So three of cups is all about celebrating. It could be with a third party. A love triangle and for the moment you're happy with that situation um and then the next card up is the justice card and this justice card major arcana major life event is in the upright so this is like you know justice being served to you if there are any issues that you're dealing with when it comes to relationship this is also too a card of balance it sits underneath the strength card in the upright so it could be that um the relationship that I had spoke about earlier, feeling trapped and fearful uh, in a relationship, some sort of justice will be served. This could be uh, justice represents, uh, I think, Aquarius or Libra, Libra. I'm sorry, it represents Libra. So it could be that there's energy related to air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, male or female. But whatever it is, um, justice will be served to you and then it fosters or brings in some sort of balance now we have the uh, king of pentacles that's up next uh, Scorpio and this is a good card it's in the upright so this could be someone that comes on the scene you know coming through riding a horse and this also could be uh, female energy as well so it could be um Two things I'm getting because the king sits underneath that uh, eight of swords. It could be that there's a relationship that's going on uh, for a Scorpio or two that I'm reading for that is involved with uh, an entrepreneur or somebody who runs their own business. And this person is um, controlling, um, possibly manipulative. And he could be stingy because the King of Pentacles is representative representative of being generous. Uh, I'm just finding a, a connection here underneath the Eight of Swords and attaching that energy in terms of the messages coming through. That, that could be a possibility of what I'm picking up. Um, outside of that, it could be that there is someone, because the King is a court card, is an actual person. So that could be someone uh, for Scorpio to meet that's... Um, that's an actual entrepreneur in their own business or they have they're very well off when it comes to coins and they are coming across as being very generous. Um, and it could be someone around the workplace environment. Keep that in mind. The pentacles represent Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, male or female, but it could be with any zodiac sign. I just want to tie that one message in. Uh, because normally I like to connect the dots when I see certain things and I'm drawn to it. And depending on where these cards fall and underneath or over top of, there's a connection to be made. So that's just one scenario that I feel that there is someone who's either um, fearful of a relationship with a earth sign. And this person is uh, controlling or stubborn. Stubborn stands out more than anything. Um, and it's like they're stuck in the past, stuck in their, you know, their ways and just don't want to, you know, progress and move forward. All right. So the four of wands is up next there and it's in the reverse. So this is normally for a love reading. Uh, I always like to see the uh, four of wands in the upright because that, it, you know, announces to me that it's a happy family life, happy home uh, in the reverse. That means that someone is not a happy camper. And it sits underneath the five of cups. OK, so it could be a, a cohabitating situation going on. Uh, and like I said, I wanted to stay focused on love and relationships. So it could be, you know, just to throw in there, it could be that you're not happy where you live, um, but it's affecting your love life. All right. So I have to tie that in there. Um, and there might be some sort of contemplation 
of a move that's not going to go well, that's not going to take place. There's someone contemplating a move. The contemplation in, in terms of a move may be um, related to someone who lives somewhere else and it's a love interest. OK, and then right now it would not be um, feasible or it's not possible for you to make that move or it could be them not being able to make that move closer to you. So it's a lot of stuff coming in here. Next up is the um, and then you have four major arcanas in a 10 card spread. So this is very powerful energy for uh, you. Pi um, I was going to say Pisces uh, Scorpio. Uh, but it's not all that bad. The moon is in the reverse. So that's overcoming depression, overcoming, feeling the blues. All right. Uh, secrets be, being revealed and discovered. Normally in the uh, upright, it's all about, um, you know, phases, personal reputations. The moon represents Pisces. So that's your energy, not direct, but it's the energy of Pisces and also that of yours and cancer it's male or female in the reverse that means it's um overcoming some sort of you know feeling the blues um uh, slight depression major depression and this is all associated with relationships okay so it could be that you know again going back to the strength card and the uh eight of swords for those singles who you know are not feeling courageous or feeling you know fearless or fearful about putting themselves back out in the dating scene because of past issues it could be related to trust issues it could be just related to the five of cups energy uh being uh, you know let down emotionally by and you know let down emotionally and disappointed by other people all right so you're getting over that and then i like the fact that the moon card and you know the moon card sits next to the Wheel of Fortune, which is the last card for you, and it's in the upright position. So this is uh, a couple things coming in for this in terms of messages. Things aren't as bad as you think they are. The Wheel of Fortune is that you have luck on your side and, and fortune, okay? And just think of the wheel continuously turning. So it could be a change or a turn of events when it comes to existing relationships and good luck and fortune is on your side. Uh, I didn't really see any... Uh, for you, at least anyway, there's no, you don't have any swords here in this spread. So like, outside of the eight of swords, that is powerful. I'm sorry. And, you know, it's the cross. So it's what's crossing the strength card. So even that could be changed as well. But other than that, I don't see anything that's, you know, majorly conflicting. Because if it was, then I would see a lot of more uh, swords being presented here, but it's not. So maybe just uh, and normally the uh, crossing card is something that's that's occurring with you at this moment, since I'm reading for you on the 27th of January. But it's the um, energy that could be most impactful at the start of the month. OK, so I know that there's someone dealing with issues right now that's placing placing them or having them. uh experience the uh eight of swords crossing the strength card okay but the will of fortune at least at the end of the month things aren't as bad as they seem or dismal um because you have good luck and fortune on your side so that could be um once the if the energy of the king of pentacles is presented to you it could be that you got lucky and meeting someone who is you know working for themselves entrepreneur now this person doesn't necessarily have to be an entrepreneur they could be someone who you meet through work and they're like a manager or a boss ceo and then at the end of the month there's something that takes place four wands is just a little bit uh disconcerting because of the fact that it's usually uh cohabitation and you know wanting to move but i'm relating to um, excuse me i'm relating the move to um someone it could be creating a disappointment emotional letdown because of either someone not being able to move closer towards you or you being able to move closer towards them something going on with that energy all right so all in all it's not really a bad month <clears throat> but anyway that's your reading scorpio i hope it's helpful and beneficial and i apologize because i have a sore throat here <clears throat> but the romance card that i have selected for you is uh religious factors 
And it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Now, I can't even delve into this one because sometimes when these cards, <laughs> these cards show up, it's like I don't even have an answer for them. OK, so I don't even know how you're going to apply this religious stuff, but it may affect or impact some of you out there that I'm reading for if you are, you know, got some sort of religious stuff going on and it's uh, interfering uh, with you trying to uh, get involved with a relationship if it's not you personally it could be if it's part of your upbringing and there may be um, you know it may be family driven you know you could be of different religions and there's something that's going on based on the family okay it's like um, well I don't want to call anyone out if you're in a different religion and you like somebody and they're of a different religion, but it's not sitting well or will sit well with family members or friends, then this is what I'm talking about. So it may be something that's preventing you from uh, being emotionally happy with a situation with the four of cups showing up in the reverse. OK, because remember, I said that there is, you know, Somebody took a focus off of uh, one person now with the four cups in the reverse it's allowing that energy to come back into play because there are three other cups that were laying down there and now you're just giving up on that one focus and now you're allowing yourself either to open up for the other energies um, possibly to meet if you're single and then um, it may be something directly connected to the religious factors here. With that being said, this is your reading Scorpio. Um, I appreciate uh, all of your support. I want to wish you all a very fun-filled month of love in February. And, of course, safety. Until I talk to you again, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.